Okay, George, so Premiership action takes a two-week break. We're we'll back to the European Challenge Cup. Uh, we've got NSI in Russia this coming week and Brieve at home the, the week after on the Saturday. How have you been enjoying that tournament and uh, what are these two games going to be like to play? Well, this tournament's real good for the fringe players and the players on the outer like, edge of the Premiership squad. It gives them a chance to prove themselves. You look at players like Craig and Sean who were given opportunities in this tournament. They've took them and they've got their shots in the Prem and they're doing really well for us. So I think it's real vital as a squad and it's good to just build momentum. And we've been doing quite well on it, like the Connacht win at home. Real good for the squad in general. Everyone's buzzing the next training week. And it's just, yeah, it's a real good competition to just try and build momentum, give the fringe players chances to prove themselves and hopefully they'll take their chances and get their teams to get their spots back in the first team. NSI is up first, it's over in Sochi rather than uh, Siberia where Connor went out to play with them. What's, the, what's that feeling like, sort of going into a, a new new environment for, for the team? Well obviously we're going out there, we're expecting the worst kind of conditions, we're expecting it to be cold and horrible and they're going to come out and try and beat us up, so we're very prepared for that in general, we're expecting them to be a big physical side who are going to try and beat us up. So yeah, we're, we're looking forward to the challenge, we know it's going to be a tough travel, we know it's going to be a tough trip, but yeah, we're, we're very aware of that and we're very prepared for that. Have we played them in round two and then sort of seen them run breathe relatively close in there? in France and, and beating them over in Sochi, so does that give you any sort of um, worries or concerns at all? Well we know they're a good side, we've seen them, we, they played well against Connacht when they're at home, they played, obviously they played well against Brieve, we know they're a good side, we're not taking them lightly, we're taking them very seriously and we know it's going to be a tough game and we're going to have to try and perform as well as we can, stick to our brand of rugby, play our game and uh, yeah, do, do, hopefully do what we do and win the game. And what's your overall sort of feelings of the tournament, it's one that you made your first starting appearance in and you've You've, you've racked up quite a few appearances in it. The, the shackles seem to be off somewhat uh, in the way that we play during this, this competition. Yeah, well, it is, it's, it's a nice break from the Prem. You get that whole, it's not as stressful, there's not as much pressure on it, there's no relegation promotion kind of aspect to it. So the reason shackles off in that sense, we're not playing to a stricter game plan, it's more free flowing, more probably more running rugby. You get a lot more tries, you see that Enzai game at home. Marcus got four, like there was a lot of tries in that game, it was good running rugby, which is nice and obviously it's just nice to play rugby and throw the ball around with that kind of freedom that the Prem can't give you because you can't afford to make the same kind of mistakes that if they happen in those kind of games aren't as serious. I suppose the, if, you, if you need any sort of visual proof of that, the Newport game last year would be we had both teams looking to to progress as, as pool winners, and uh, you know it was, it was a very open, free-running game, wasn't it? Yeah, well, obviously, if you look at that game, they're both both teams were up in the thirty points, aren't they? It's a big, high-scoring game, and yeah, it was obviously good to watch. It was probably great for the neutral, great game of rugby to watch for that in that sense. And yeah, with our pitch and the way we've playing at the moment, it's going to be a free-running, free-running game. There's going to be a lot to try scored, and it should be exciting to watch. And what have you learned from the the, the round one fixture against Brieve over in France? Or what have you you worked on and identified as things you need to exploit when they're here on the 23rd of January? Well, we had we had a lot of opportunities against Brieve we away. We probably, if we look back on it, we probably could have got the result if we'd just been a bit more accurate and a little bit. Those little final passes went to hand and things like that. So like just the little, it's the basics. We actually played quite well as a team. It was always going to be a hard place to go. They're flying in the top 14 at the minute. They're going to be tough. It's always going to be physical. So yeah, we knew it was going to be hard. We actually thought we played quite well as a team, but just those little accuracies, the final passes, the yeah, the easy things to fix. So they're the little things we've got to try and iron out of our game and get back on top of it. After a big European crowd against NSI and then a big Premiership crowd against Bath, it will be good to get a, a, a vocal support behind you and what will hopefully be a crunch game. Yeah, well you look at the Bath game, they, the crowd made the big difference in that game. It was close at the end, they came in, the, the crowd were nice and loud, real vocal and I think it just, just lifts the players that little bit. Everyone chases that little bit harder, like if someone makes a big tackle, the crowd go, it picks you up as a player. So yeah, it is very important, the crowd are there and the crowd are vocal.